everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are doing the world debut of a all new floor plan from American Coach. I'm super excited to show everybody. Guys, this is a 45 foot motorhome that has a kitchen island in the center. This is a 2022 American Coach, American Tradition Model 45T. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first, then the inside features, then we're gonna give you three things we love about this motorhome and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again, I am super excited to be doing the world debut. There's not a single video on YouTube on the all new 45T. Super excited and it's such a great floor plan. But before I begin, would like to say hi to Andrea. Hey Andrea! Hi everybody! How's it going? It's going good you guys. We are here in beautiful Texas. Yes. And what better day to debut a brand new floor plan. Yes. American coaches are beautiful. Yes. I'm super excited to see the interior. Here we go now. So Andrea, here we go. Let's begin. Model is 45T. The actual tip to tip length of this motorhome is 45 feet long. This is a bath and a half. This sits on a Liberty Bridge chassis from Freightliner. It has a Cummins engine. It's the ISX turbocharged, 450 horsepower with 1,250 pound feet wow. of torque. Andrea, American Coach is beautiful. This is luxury. This is actually entry level American Coach, but there's nothing entry level about it. Um, for those of you who don't know, American Coach is Rev Group. So both Holiday Rambler and Fleetwood, they stop at the Armada and the Discovery LXE. That's their top of the line. The next line is American Coach. That's where the tradition comes in. And then it just goes, it goes tradition, American dream, and eagle. So all very nice. Right up front, look at the bigness. Look how tall it is. Big windshields, oversized bus belt mirrors. Right here we have collision mitigation system. And then right here, Andre, I love the way it looks. It's clean, it's sleek, it's aggressive looking. And then watch this. Wow. Generators in there, right? Andre, pushing the button. We have an automatic slide out generator. That should be good enough. Own and 10,000 QD. Own and 10,000 QD generator. It's awesome. This unit's made in America, Andrea. Andrea, I'm afraid we won't have to break a sweat with this unit. Everything's gonna be pushed by. Uh, did mention the mobile eye collision mitigation. These oversized bus mirrors uh, with cameras integrated left side and right side in reverse. Again, this is a Liberty Bridge chassis, which you'll see, this has fantastic exterior storage. It's unbelievable. And then look at these tires draining into Michelin's. 315-80R22.5. Very nice with these shiny Alcoa rims. Got an awning over the door right there. Yes. And then Andrea, it does have the armless Gerard awnings right there and there. Very nice. It's a clean look. It looks real nice. And then underneath that, those are slide toppers. Now, Andrea, look at this slide-out system. This is amazing. It actually comes out and drops down. Also, if we forget to show it, they actually paint the inside of the slide as well. So you have a good-looking motorhome when you're driving and when it's fully extended. So uh, I love the blue color. I think it pops. It's popping. It's Whoa, popping. Big TV. Brand new whip just hopped in. <laughs> Samsung TV. Comes with options. Oh, a Morai tray. Yes. Morai tray, Andrea. Slide out. 800 pounds of cargo carrying capacity wow. on each tray. And then look at this. Oh, so, it's a medic little uh, cooler freezer thing. Yeah, this is why it's so important. We're actually in the market for one of these right now for our motorhome because our dog eats uh, raw food. So to have this, like you, you don't want to put that in your fridge, right. you know what I'm saying? So um, that's really nice. This is 250 pound capacity. Nice. Also right there, you will see on the inside, it's porcelain snap stone tile. And you got the replacement tiles awesome. right there. 
Trayless windows, of course. Right here's your hydraulic reservoir. Battery batteries. batteries. Yep. Wow. Look, and there's a vent right there. Very cool. Control center, surge protector, battery control center, fifth, uh, some, some solar for the roof. Now check this out, Andrea. Tag axle motorhome. And this has the V-Ride Ultra Steer, which is right here in the rear. That tire, when you're going slow enough and you pivot, that tire will actually pivot the other way, making it a tighter turning radius. You know what's crazy, Andrea? Wow, more batteries. It's not even windy here in Texas, but it's I just feel right like here. it makes a vortex. Yeah. Coming around the back. 15,000 pound hitch. Now, Andrea, I don't want to say you tow 15,000 pounds. You're going with at least 10,000 pounds. Know before you tow, before you want to go to 11, 12, 15,000 pounds. But something else that I like right here, it already has the airline. So if you have one of those nice stacker trailers, or if you have the Air Force One brakes for your motorhome, you can uh, hook that up to it. I love the, dude, this blue is popping, isn't it? Backup camera there as well. Um, engine compartment access and a ladder to get up on the roof. We're not gonna climb up it today. Also right here, Andrea, it is a side mount radiator, okay? I mean, look at this spot. It's this is gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Out. This right here, 50 amp power cord with a real water filtration system. Wow. Water hose, everything right here, what you need. Wow. It's a wet bay. Yes, man, that is. It's for your potable water. Potable. Potable. And then this is a, an emergency egress door. This is in the bathroom. So if you have to exit, uh, this will come down and make steps. I'll show you that on the inside. Other side. Oh, the instant. Oh, the, that's the residential Aqua Hot, right? Aqua Hot 400D. It's called a hydronic heating system. There's absolutely no propane on this motorhome, and it's the best heating wow. system in the industry. Wow. And since there's no propane, we'll still put all the specs bing, right there of this motorhome so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Andrea, yes. this is how the Look slide out looks when it's all the way extended. Beautiful. Yes. Dirt Devil centralized Yay. vacuum. And then here's just the other side of the storage. That storage is amazing. Yes, ma'am. All aluminum slam latch doors, top of the line, Andrea. Um, and what's funny is, once you guys see the inside, you guys are gonna go, sheesh! <laughs> but this is just where American Coach starts. It's unbelievable. Andrea, the outside of this motorhome's unbelievable, but the inside's even more unbelievable. Let's go, take a look. Okay, that's and this the just, generator. Exactly. All right. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, and Andrea, before you go in on the inside, I wanna show everybody these steps. Look at this. These are the awesome steps. High end feature, I love that. A lot better than the traditional steps that just collapsed. Take a look at the inside. Let's get the cargo carrying capacity. 6,163. Wow. Okay, America. Here we go. Wow, oh my goodness, slides are in. Okay, this is interesting. Yes. Okay, so it is a little bit tight for me to get through here. Andrea, I would say the word. <sighs> I don't even think I'm gonna be able to make it back there. So we're gonna have to open the slides up. Okay, and then Andrea. Yes. Uh, before we get the slide outs out, let's give a big shout out to our sponsor, RV Life. This episode is sponsored by RV Life Pro. With RV Life Pro, you get RV Life Trip Wizard. You can find all the national parks, state parks, city and local parks, even the cores of engineers in the BLM lands. You'll also be able to find every campground brand and clubs from AAA to Yogi Bear, Good Sam, Thousands Trails, KOAs, and more. Travel dreams and destinations are made simple with RV Life Trip Wizard, and that's a part of RV Life Pro. We are doing a free seven day trial and 25% off with promo code MATSRVREVIEWS, no spaces. 
Thank you so much to RV Life for sponsoring us. Let's continue the video. Okay, Andrea, watch the floor right there. You see it? Yes. So try to get closer. Watch this when it goes all the way out. Wow. Bam, baby. Look at that slide mechanism. It is so nice. Now, Andrea, show the rest of the motor home. Oh, it's so pretty. Now we can get through. Okay, well, I'm gonna walk back here, but the floor is gorgeous. All right, so here's the door and I'm walking through. It looks like um, this is like a, well, the lights aren't on, hold on. Sorry, guys. There we go. Okay, so this is like the split bath, I guess, yep. half bath. And then look, so the bed is on a slide mat. Yep. And there is a bathroom back there. Okay. Oh, very pretty. Well, let's get started with the cockpit area. Andrea. Look how beautiful. Literally one of the most beautiful motorhomes that we've even, ever seen. Even the accent pillows are cute. Yes. Andre, do you want to sit in the yes, driver's seat? Yes. 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 Okay, before you do, look at the two-tone seat, American beautiful. coach. Beautiful. Oh, you guys. Oh, man. This is probably going to be the most comfortable chair I've ever sat in. Wow. Yes. Fantastic. So, Andre, it's adjustable in so many ways. Wow. Power seats. I do have over Heated here. Heated seats. Um, we have the auto leveling here, Matt. Yes. Look, they even have a little, um, I think that's for the tires. Like, there's a little panel here. Yeah. Low ride. Uh, so, yeah, not for the tires, but, but for, for the, the air ride. Okay. So, if you need to lower your motorhome down, you can. And we do have electric shades here. Look how and pretty. Privacy blinds and daytime blinds. Very pretty. I can tell it's electric. Yep. And uh, look at this. Oh Adjustable my gosh. Adjustable steering wheel. Freightliner telescope. Is this telescopic? It sure is. Telescopic. You do, it, you do it with your foot over uh, there. I don't even want to touch it. I'm just yep. like. It's just, re it's really, really nice. Right here, you have your digital dash and everything. What do we got going on over here? So it looks like you have your whole center here. Yep. And you have the menu. It looks like you have the cameras here. Navigation. And Left, then you can also, rear. yep, you can set both cameras. And I like how everything's facing yes, the driver. Yes, it's so cool. And look at all these. Lots Keyless entry, generator star, every power shades right there. And then Andrea, does it have an air horn? <laughs> oh, oh, only in Texas. Wow. Oh, that wasn't very loud. Oh, there's people walking by, so we oh. don't want to scare them now. Okay. But uh, it Let was very, it, it was very loud. You just did, <laughs> Andrea, you gotta, you gotta like just lay so, it down. I was just so excited, Matt. Right, and if there wasn't people there, we would have done it even longer. But look at this, Andrea. Both seats do swivel. Yes, and then look, this one has recliners oh, right nice. there. Not only that, there is the step a cover. step cover. You push this, and this is gonna cover that step right here. Um, that way you don't fall down the wheel well because you see how it comes, it comes up as up. well. Yep. I love that. Um, you got a nice grab handle here, USB. Uh, very, very nice. And then Andrea, show that uh, storage above. Okay, I'm gonna start over here. So we got some nice storage, very pretty cabinetry. I like the knobs one here. Yes. Very cute. And then we got over here. You notice there is no bunk over the cab. Not in this motorhome, Andrea. And then we've got some storage up there. No bunk in the cabs that needed one had for this. Wires in it, but that one. Oh, here is the awning button. CBD and yep. slide. Yep. And some more things up there. Wow. I have to say, I really am liking the slides as well because look, they have the lights in there and it just looks really pretty. Andrea, I met the lady who does all the interior designs, and here's what I will say. Coachman is a sec close second, but by far, hands down, period. All or Rev Group. Rev Group yes. just freaking kills they it. They do, and I- and I've, Wood, Holiday, yep. Rambler. Like, listen, it's debatable. It's you not. You can find- No, no, no. No, no, hang on. Let, 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 let me do what I want to say. <laughs> You could find me a better motorhome. You could say, oh, the Allegro bus or the Cornerstone. The Four Travel. Or the Four, right? You will not find a more beautiful motorhome. No. Hands down. Hands down. You and, heard it here first. And, and actually, you've heard me say in a lot of videos that I've done how Holiday Rambler, I'm very partial to them and yep. Fleetwood yep. because of the interior design. Oh, yeah. And another thing I want to add, so, um, 
as you guys have already heard, or if you don't know, Andre and I do have a motorhome. And it's a East to West Entrada, a little Class C. And our company, RV Retailer, provided it for us for six months. Um, a lot of people are saying, oh, you only got that because they probably gave it to you, blah, blah, blah. We're not above that. So if Holiday Rambler or American Coach <laughs> does want to, if there's a company, listen, RV Retailer, how it all work, not that it matters. It was part of our ne negotiating contracts. Hey, we want, we need an RV, travel around our other dealerships. But if somebody wants to give us one, especially American Coach, dude, I'll get an American Coach tattoo. <laughs> People are like, oh, I can't believe you sold out. We didn't sell out, and I'm not opposed to selling out. American Coach, if you want to buy me out, I'm for sale. Because <laughs> this is nice. Andre, would you sell the house if we had one of these? Oh, um, I probably wouldn't sell the house, but I would have this. I, I probably would, Matt, actually, because I, I'm very, very partial, you know, and I try to be fair to all the manufacturers. Yeah, the only thing is... You know would mess up this yes. furniture. Yes, but everybody's known from the beginning, if they've been watching us for a long time, I've always been partial to Rev Group. Yeah. But look at these shades. Look so we have shades. electric shades. Yep. And I got I don't know where the button is so, for that. It, yeah, it's, it's they all control one. But uh, look at this nice balance. Oh no, we gotta ask. Andrea? Approved! Bing. bing! Jen, make that a real big bing. And then over here, I mean, it's just so adorable. We've got more cabinetry above. And here, and look, we got a sound bar up there. Dude, hidden, hidden, hidden hinge cabinetry. Look at those hinges. On, Would on, you expect any less? I, I, I wouldn't expect this much, you know what I'm saying? Nice tower of power right here. We've got a TV on the televator. Yes, ma'am. And then right here's a nice sofa. Look at the pillow design. I, I did mention that, Matt. Mm, very nice. And. We did forget to say that the uh, reclining seats over here are oh, power. Yes. Because we were so excited. And right here, you could have a little table that comes out. Yes, But it looks like we have a full pull-out sofa here We're that gonna Matt's going to demonstrate for us. Yes, ma'am. Um, And then check out the nice porcelain towel. Yes, floor. very pretty. Also, if you look at the roof, the ceiling, yes. you won't see the AC ducts. It's going to be the whisper quiet. Um, and it's just incognito. It looks really, really good. Great. And I'll try to check this out. It's a trifold. It's a trifold sofa sleeper. Not a trifold. It's not a trifold. Um, just sofa sleeper. Yeah. Uh, this for the non-paying customers. Ugh. I can tell you. Not this. very comfortable. Andrea, they they did not use Brooklyn bedding on this. No. <laughs> um. So. Pretty sofa, but I, I definitely think the trifold sofas are a lot more comfortable for well, your guests. Here's how it works, Andre. If they don't want it to be too <laughs> I know. It is a cute sofa. Right? Like, if we got this motorhome, American coach, let, let us know, man. <laughs> um, if we got this motorhome, your daughters would want to come with us, and then, but then they'd be forced to sleep there. And then they'd be so uncomfortable they wouldn't want to come with us anymore. That's the whole point of American <laughs> coach. Okay. Oh my god. Then check out that dinette area. Yes. So this dinette area is so cool because it's not a dinette. First two towers of power. This is a little office area and I love this. Now I've seen other ones. See this would drive me crazy. Yeah, see, no, the I love this. The dragging of the chairs. Oh yeah. But it needs to have something at the bottom of them. America um Fleetwood Discovery, they have the weird table that's this doesn't do that this the way it is this isn't a dinette this is an office area and i love it it's more like a breakfast bar i like that big window and everything it's so nice sugar and spice i love that oh. and did i show the panel here so there's your panel and that's how you have all your controls and you check everything right yep. there lights there, there is a button for the tv right here mm -hmm. which is super mm -hmm. nice and i'll leave that halfway andrea show us this kitchen yes Okay, my goodness. Where do you begin? I know, right? So pretty. Okay, so over here, we have a cabinet with adjustable shelves. Okay. We have a tower of power. Yeah, that's like six towers of power right there. A nice drawer here, mm -hmm. cutting board. And I bet, is this the dishwasher? Yes. Wow. Very nice. Very pretty. And I'll tell you, that's the knock lock. So knock, knock on it twice. You didn't do it hard enough. Oh. Try it again. 
No. All right, I guess we'll, we'll never figure it out. Knock, lock, dishwasher. <laughs> Anyways, I don't want to beat it up. <laughs> okay. All right, so right here, beautiful window. I love these windows. I love the backsplash. I like that it has the shade there. And is that a light? Yeah, that's a light. Wow. Okay, over here we have the Whirlpool Convection Microwave. Yes. And it looks like we have a wow. humongous farmhouse sink. Right wow. there. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Very nice. And, you know, got an extension here. Okay, these are always a pain for me. Right. All right, so under here. Oh. Oh. Oh, interesting. I guess you could put your and trash that, can. Okay, so I was about to comment on this saying those are going to be a pain in the butt to store, but you store them right, right there. That's nice that they put that there. Yeah, very nice. Soft clothes? No, I don't know. All right, over here on the island, mm. adjustable shelves. Yes, ma'am. Is this a wine rack? Yes. A oh wine my cooler. goodness. A little wine cooler, yes. That is so cool. And then you guys, over here, we have another tower of power. Hey, I love powers of tower. I'm like ADHD right now. Right. I'm sorry, everyone. Look at that. I help it. We got a two burner induction Dometic cooktop Look right at that. here. Right in the center. I wow. love that. Wow. That is so cool. And you got so much counter space back there. Yeah. All right. And so under here we have, is this a drawer or that? I think that's just for show because I can't get it open. Under here we have more shelves. Yep. And this is for show. Yep. Wow. Oh, oh, come over here. Uh oh, but wait, there's more. Wait. wait. Oh, that's the fuse box. Yep. All right, so we do have a residential whirlpool refrigerator. Ice maker, water filtration system. Nice freezer. Yeah. We definitely, you, I definitely could sell the house and live in here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and then, oh my goodness, is this the pantry? It sure is. <gasps> wow, look. This uh... is so cute. Look at that. Soft clothes. Wow. Love it. Wow, wow. Okay, and then, and then right here, yep. what is this, Matt? I don't think that comes off yet. Okay, okay. And then I wasn't sure if this... Nope, it's yeah. just Art Deco. Beautiful. Is that Art Deco? Um, mm, no. Okay. <laughs> but there's one behind you, too. Art Deco. Okay. Very pretty. All right, going into the split bath here, we Come have a door. In. Let's shut that door. And then we have this medicine cabinet up here. Very okay. nice. Yeah. Nice sink, lots of space. Love the LED lights underneath. You got a cabinet here and three drawers. Wow. So very nice. Okay. So you got a door going into the toilet oh, area. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, man. This is, this is ample. This yeah. is great. That's the throne. This is the throne. This is a prime poop position. Bing! Something else I want to mention, if you look up Andrea, instead of just having the Max Air fan, they actually have the cover I over like it, that. which makes it look good. And then Andrea, this is that emergency door. Very, See how this is shelving? Cool. Yep. On the other side, if you look underneath here, um, there's like grip tape, because it's actually steps. Oh! Ho hopefully it's steps that you never have to use. Right. But I love that feature. All right, so going into the master, I love all the doors in here. Going Pocket. into the master, you have a pocket door right here, which is nice. Yes. We have a king size tilt a bed. Yes, how do you like all oh, the pillows? Oh, it's so and adorable. Okay. We've got the cabinets above. Yep. Opposing windows on each side. And if I can see, uh, the headboard is, I, it's very cute, I can tell. And then Andrea, look at this little cutout here. Do you know what that's for? For the CPAP. Yeah, so there's power here. So you can put your CPAP machine in here and run the hose down. Very nice. While this is still closed and have the CPAP machine. And just the, even the light fixtures are cute. Yeah. And so, Matt, hold on. I want to show how like they did their decor in here. Like there's a mirror right there. And then you have your wardrobe here. Very nice. Very nice. TV. Wow. Oh, there's a safe behind there. Well, Andrea, where else are you supposed to keep your bars of gold? <laughs> I do love, I, I really do like the LED lights in here. It just gives it a good, like, ambiance. It's very comfortable. Oh, my goodness. 
that's really big storage in there. Yeah. And then you have another wardrobe there with wow. shelves. Wow. And then I got to say, look at the design over here. Um, I love this. I love there, this. It's a beautiful pocket door. And then you have this over here too, which kind of reminds me of like a, a, a French door. I don't know. And then you have like um, a little nightstand here and electrical outlet right there. Yes. And then Andrea, show there's, us the sink. There's a step going up into the bathroom. So be careful for that. Double vanity. Very cute. And medicine cabinets. Wow. And then this would be storage. Wow, for more medicines. Shelves. Backup medicines. Um, very nice. Look at that double vanity. Very Man. cute. Oh my goodness. Look yes. at that space. Yes, and then over here, Andrea, side by side, wow. Whirlpool washer dryer. Look at that, and there's drawers under there. Well, what's great about it is it's not taking up your storage in the bedroom. Right, and they got four drawers. Wow. I love that. And, oh my goodness. Go on in there. Look at this shower. Beautiful. Tiled, very pretty. Wow. Plenty of space, the rain, wall, shower head. And you got a little teak seat right here. Wow. This is a shower. Sit on the teak seat. Very nice. Look at the tile, honeycomb, very pretty. Yes. Very nice. And there's two shower heads as well. Yeah. Okay. Okay, it's a little dark in there. Don't turn on the light. Okay, Matt. Oh, goodness, there's more storage? Fuses. No. Oh, nice. Adjustable shelves. Okay. What say you? It's definitely not as nice as that one. But Andrea, I mean, it is what it is. It's the American tradition. And this is also a prime poop position. Bing! Eight piece. Very nice. And Andrea, as nice as it is, as great as it is, we will tell everybody the MSRP in a few moments. But now it's time for us to give us three things we love about this. And truthfully, now we gotta it's find gonna be very hard. three things we don't like about it. Andre, what do we do first? Let's do three things we dislike about it. First? Okay. Well, I know the first one, so let's kick it over to that. Andrea, dislike number one. What is that? I can't get through. You can't get through. Um. Now, there is a way if you maneuver the chairs. Right. This is the way that this motorhome is while you're driving, guys. And let me tell you something. This is a huge pain in the butt. Right. But it's one of those things. You guys saw when this thing was open how big it was. And maybe that's worth having the tighter walkway. Yeah, I mean... To some people it is. Like, to me, I wouldn't have a problem. I, I'd find some place to store those. Over here and lay them down. Yeah, I, I, I'd go. figure it out. Yeah. Like, hey, if I got to go, I'm going to make it work. <laughs> so yeah. that's dislike number two. One. Andre, dislike number two? The number two dislike, I have to say, is Matt, yep. follow me. There's not really much I don't like on here. But um, I will say, I don't, I don't know. I just, I don't like these chairs. Really? I feel like. They're, they're pretty chairs, but I feel like it, something needs to be smaller, more maneuverable, so they can easily fold up okay. or be able to access. So when you come in, yeah. like you have room and you don't have to like throw them up on your sofa. I get it. And they do kind of sit a little tall. And, and, they, and also you'd have to pick them up because you don't want to scratch up your floor. Right. Okay. No, no. So, That's a great point, Andrea. That is number two. It was really hard for me, you guys, and I feel like I'm reaching there. No, no, no. You're doing fine. That's number two. And then, Andrea, do you have a number third? I do not, Matt. Okay. Um, number three, Andrea, it's going to be this this front seat. So, one, this passenger seat needs to be all the way in um, because, like, the this... slide. Exactly. Like, when I was first here, like, it was back all the way there. And that there's no computer tray right here for the yes. passenger. Um, that That's what I want. Like, it doesn't need to be much, but, like, something where... The passenger can just have their computer tray or at least something that can flip out from the side yeah exactly. come across over or something exactly what is nice it does there is a wireless phone charger there though oh very cool well andrea that was easy uh that's three things we don't like about it now it's time for three things we love about it and actually this might be the harder this one because it's hard. like which three do you do you go you go first oh my gosh i don't know where to begin um okay so i really do love the kitchen yeah 
Um, I just love everything about it. I love all this counter space. I love all the storage space. Yep. I love the island. I love the wine cooler thing here. Yep. I love it all. It's just, it's I just, love the pantry. Yeah, that's number one. Andre, number two definitely has to be the interior look and decor. Again, guys, I said it. You can find better motorhomes. I can list, I can list them off. Better quality, better features. But there's not a motorhome. You ready for this? And I'm calling out Andrew Steele. Newells are better than this. I we get it. Prevos are better than we this. We get it. Right? Those are two million dollars. Find me a prettier Newell than this American tradition. You know what I'm saying? Find me a prettier Prevos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And for those of you guys who don't know, me and Andrew Steele, we're friends. Shout out Andrew Steele. Make sure you check out his channel, RVing with Andrew Steele. But Andrew Steele, he does a lot of noise and Prevos. Very higher and, end motorhomes. You know, marathon coaches. Guys, leave a comment down below. If there is a Newell or a Prevos or an American coach or any motorhome that's prettier than this motorhome, I'd like to know. Me too. Because I haven't seen one. Me too. Great. So that's number two. And then Andrea, number three is going to be that whole rear bathroom. Oh, yes. I like it. But then this half bathroom kicks butt. Yes, it does. And I love the emergency egress door there. That's just very important. Fire safety is very important. Um, and the fact that it has all that is just awesome. Well, Andrea, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. MSRP on this motor home here is $721,500. Andrea, MSRP. Sale price, we have a fantastic sale price. Unfortunately, I'm just not allowed to advertise it on the internet. But if you guys are interested in this motor home, please contact me by going to mattsrvreviews.com. Guys, I'm gonna hook you up with our closest American coach partner. We're gonna get you a great price, great service, and the best RV buying experience in the industry. I can promise you that. Andre, is there anything you wanna say? Yes, hey everybody, thank you so much for watching. Let us know the three things that you like about this RV and the three things that you dislike. Rev Group, they do read the comments, so they are interested to see what you have to say. Other than that, I hope you guys are safe and well. Thank you for watching. Thank you absolutely everybody so much for watching. And Andrea, we'll, we'll see you next time. time.